How's it going everybody? It's me, Philip, once again, back with another vlog. And today is going to be a very, very exciting day because today uh, is my first broadcast of the season as a, a college student sports broadcaster. And it will be for soccer. Uh, St. John's is taking on Loyola, Maryland tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I'll be on the call for it on the student radio station here at St. John's that I'm a member of. Sorry, truck passing by. And the game will be on uh, WSU uh, Sports Radio, which is the student radio station here at St. John's that I'm a member of. And I'll be doing play-by-play -play for the game tonight. And I thought it would be cool to take you guys on a day in the life of what it's like to be a college student sports broadcaster. So I got into broadcasting really uh, mostly in junior year because freshman year, I wanted to do it. But since COVID happened my freshman year, I wasn't able to have the opportunity. Now, with that being the case, I wasn't able to be on campus my whole sophomore year, but when I eventually returned back to St. John's during my junior year, I was able to get into broadcasting. We were doing basketball, both for the men's and women's team, and also doing baseball as well. Um, yeah, I was able to take up those skills and be able to be a part of those opportunities. And now, you know, with the involvement of soccer, that we get to call the games at our uh, uh, stadium here at, at, on the campus. We're going to start doing the, getting the opportunity to be able to do that on a regular basis. So this will be the first game I'll be doing. It's against Loyola, Maryland uh, tonight at 7 p.m. And yeah, I'm just going to take you guys on a day in the life of what I go through to help prep myself for the broadcast. And what I should also mention is that I'm going to be doing this regularly. I know when basketball season starts, I definitely want to do more of these types of vlogs. And I also do the same with baseball when baseball season gets back in full swing. But that is a long way. It says it's not until the spring when we start doing that. But uh, I'm glad to be able to be back on the airwaves again. And yeah, I just uh, want to take you guys through the daily aspects. So right now, I'm going to get some breakfast. But after that, I have to go to class. So I will see you guys uh, outside my class before it starts. Alright guys, so I just made it inside uh, St. John Hall, so where my first class is from the day. And uh, yeah, usually I like to come to class pretty early just to kind of kill some time. But, um, but yeah, I'm just waiting outside my class right now. It's been starting to look another, so like 20 minutes. But uh, it takes some time to read a book that I've been reading that's uh, called Thinking Fast and Slow. So I'm just going to get some reading in on this, and then uh, just wait until class starts. So I will see you guys again after my class is over because you know i don't like to take my camera inside the class so you won't be able to see any of, any of it of course but i will be right back in just a bit all right guys so just got out of my first class of the day metaphysics hey you know pretty good class first it goes pretty fast though but you know usually like to take a lot of notes in that class but yeah overall it's pretty good um so now this is usually the time of day where i either go to the tv station on campus or to go grab some food. So what I'm gonna do real quick as I, uh, you know, go about my day. And uh, yeah, and I also have another class coming up in a couple of hours. So I get a nice um, two to three hour break in between my first class and my second class on Fridays. And then after the second class, I'm done with class schedule for today. And yeah, just have the rest of the day free. But this the rest of the day isn't free because you got the soccer game coming up tonight. I'll be there, but uh, it's gonna take you guys up to the TV station where you know I can socialize and meet with some really awesome people. Hi! This isn't live, right? No, not live, but yeah, you know. Hi, people. I don't know who you are, but hi. They're my viewers. Hi, viewers. You want to play? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's having a fabulous weekend. I like yeah. that. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So I'm on my way to my uh, second class for the day. Uh, it's about four hours before kickoff. 
and uh, yeah, you know, I'm just gonna get this last class in. Then I'm uh, gonna go pick up the equipment I need from the radio station. Then we're gonna head over to Belson and get ready for the broadcast. And I'll show you guys just my pre-game work on what I do to help prep. You know, some game notes and also the how the equipment is set up in the broadcast booth and everything else that comes with being a student sports broadcaster. So yeah. Gonna get to that pretty soon, but uh, I will see you guys in a bit after my art class. All right, everybody, class is officially over, and now we get to the fun part, and that is getting ready for the broadcast. So yeah, it's that time. Uh, kickoff is in another couple of hours, but you know I like to get to places early, so you know I went to go grab this here the tie line and this is what we use to set up the uh radio stuff as far as the broadcast you know, just make sure we get the connection back to the radio station uh, here on campus and um yeah you know i just uh, go to the stadium set this up make sure it's connected to the ethernet line and yeah we uh do, do after we do that we get the broadcast going really you know we always do a board test at least you know a half hour before just to make sure everything is ready to go and and uh yeah we just get, get it going just uh you know i just do the play-by-play -play and i just uh get, get active and you know I'd be ready to call the soccer game pretty soon so yeah really excited uh first play-by-play -play call for the season for me and um and it was the first of many so yeah really excited so right now we're walking to the soccer stadium here on campus and yeah we're gonna be ready to go pretty soon so uh yeah be back with you guys until I get to the stadium. All right, guys, so just got to uh, Belson, and we're all set up right for the podcast. This guy right here is the sports director for the uh, WSU sport, Sports Radio Department. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, Thomas. Yes. Thomas. Hello, everyone. Uh, <laughs> yes. So, I mean, we're really excited to do our soccer broadcast this year. Um, and we got some new equipment. Um, and, you know, we have a brand new suite. I believe they did renovations in here. This is, like, one of the first times I was able to see it. It was very nice. But, um that was a great year, men's soccer team. They're always going to be a fixture of women's soccer team, especially last year. Went to the Sweet 16. It's going to be a really fun year here at Belson. I mean, what can you really say? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we really think so. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, pitch looks great. And, you know, it looks like, you know, might have a big crowd tonight. I know Friday nights are usually pretty big. And, of course, we're not a, yeah. foot, we're not a football school, so this is like our football. It, we're, we're officially a football <laughs> <Yeah>. school. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, but um, but yeah, Thomas, he's gonna be working the board tonight. And what I mean by board is that he's gonna be the one up in the uh, station that's gonna have control of you know when I come on the air or when I come off. And this is usually something that we do for like our our, our basketball broadcast, our baseball progress. We always have somebody in the studio making sure that uh, they're working the board. You know, whenever there's a timeout break or halftime or like a break in between innings, yeah, you know, Thomas is going to be in charge of that tonight, and uh, I'll be here in the booth uh, doing play by play. So uh, yeah, yeah, Thomas, man, yeah, let's uh, let's do this thing, right? It's gonna be a great night, yeah, for, Ola, for St. Sure. John's. Yeah, big matchup for sure. Yes, for sure. All so right. uh, tune in. Oh yeah, yeah. Tune in, guys, and yeah, for like the future, like for when you want to tune into broadcast, it's WSJU Radio. Like we stream our station on iHeart Radio, so all you just gotta do is either you download the iHeart Radio app, or you can go to iHeartRadio.com, the website, and you just type in WSJU, all one word, and radio at the end. You know, that's us, and also you know we like students do do their own shows during the week, so. You know, if you guys want to tune into uh, what St. John's students have to talk about, you know, like Thomas, you know, Thomas does his own show. I do my own show on Mondays. I'm going to touch more on that in the future vlog. But yeah, like just definitely find ways to support us. And, you know, we're also on Instagram, you know, WSGU Radio, um, at WSGU Radio. That's the, the overall station Instagram. And Thomas, who's also in charge of our 
uh, most of these in charge of the sports department. We just created a at WSJU Sports Instagram account, so you can make sure to go follow us there as well. But uh, yeah, just find ways to support us and also just support the awesome people that are within WSG Radio, like Thomas. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right, guys. So yeah, I'm going to, you know, like Thomas is going to head back up to Marillac, uh, get everything ready for tonight. And I'm going to touch a little bit more on, you know, what I go through to prepare for my broadcast. guys so right now you know I got the tie line ready to go you know everything's connected back up to the station and you know here I am in the suite but technically it's gonna be the press box for the night where I'll be calling the game and yeah you know you guys saw how the pitch look you know it looks incredible you know here at Belton Stadium is one of the best uh, soccer college soccer facilities in the country and um, yeah you know it's a uh, you know pretty nice uh, pretty pretty modest a little uh, soccer stand we have here at st. John's but um I just want to touch a little bit on how I prepare for a broadcast, and this goes with either soccer, uh, basketball, or baseball. You know, it's just like an ordinary routine for me when I get prepared to you know, call sports here at St. John's. So I always try to make sure to take game notes the night before. You know, whether I'm writing down like uh, the players, like all like the rosters, and what like what year they're in school, um, where they're from, uh, what position they play, what's their number, and I even write down headlines from either a previous game or. You know, if it's midway through the season, you know, I'll write down the headlines that uh, either both both the home team or the visiting team has going for them throughout the season. And, you know, I think that stuff's really important because you know, while I'm doing the broadcast, I want to integrate some storylines to help keep the the listeners and the fans interested in you know what I have to say, and, what, and besides just calling the game. So that's one thing I like to focus on in in my broadcast routine and it helps out a lot because you know it's good to have as much information as I can about you know like not just St. John's but also about the the visiting team as well you know like I'm last night I was writing down notes for Lola Maryland you know I found out that their strike that their goalkeeper is uh, keeping a clean sheet streak right now or I mean I found out that they won their last two games at, at home or one on the road so a lot goes into why I try to integrate within my broadcast and you know it's, it, it makes it more fun too you know you just don't want to you know hear somebody <laughs> relay the play-by-play -play. you also want to hear somebody talk about the like interesting facts about either the coach about one of the players or you know like uh, important stats going into the game and I feel like that's information that's very valid in order to make sure to keep people involved and keep people listening. So um, that's one way I like to do things. So another thing that we also integrate in our broadcast is we use a, we use a website called statbroadcast.com. I know it's a lot of schools use this for when they uh, do broadcasts over the radio. And, you know, this is like, like gold. This is very helpful. And, you know, this helps us keep tabs on, you know, player stats in game. Also the time of the game, because in some places we can't even see what the, see the scoreboard very well. But, um, this is just something that we use to help, you know, refer back to, you know, in-game stats, uh, you know, changes happening on the field of play, or even, you know, like uh, time of games, like, you know, like what's the weather, like what's, or how many people are in the seats. So it, like Stat Broadcast uh, tracks all that information for us. And this is something that we use uh, while we're doing radio. And even, you know, when we have like the big broadcasters like Fox or, you know, um, uh, CBS Sports Network when they come and broadcast a game at St. John's for either basketball or baseball. You know, they'll also integrate that as well. But uh, yeah, this is you know very helpful in trying to help produce a broadcast. And yeah, this is just how we like to do things here. Yeah, so I just wrapped up doing a sound check with Thomas, and you know, the sound check is making sure that we have a great connection back to the station. And so far, so we're been pretty good. You know, you can hear me loud and clear. And uh, yeah, we always want to have, you know, that preparation going, going ahead because we never know what can happen. And yeah, you know, like we're ready to go now. And, you know, I'm just here waiting for, you know, the game to really start. You know, we're going to have fans uh, coming in. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a fun night. So uh, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully St. John's can come out on top of a win. But uh, yeah, just got to get tuned in now to be able to do play-by-play -play for St. John's soccer. 
So yeah, here we go. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun one. All right, guys. So it's halftime now, and uh, it's a nil-nil game. Again, Both say Johnson a very happy but I will say that one thing about this game is that defense is being played hard on both sides of the ball. And St. John's have only been able to get six shots off of Loyola's defense, and I thought I figured it would be the other way around, but Loyola has had no shots so far, and that just shows the defense that St. John's is playing with tonight. And uh, I think, you know, hopefully there could be some more uh, offensive opportunities for St. John's in this one. They can pull that, we'll see if they can pull down the second half. But uh, yeah, you know, so far it's been doing pretty good. Uh, yeah, you know, trying to stay active. You know, you know, I have to stand up and walk around a little bit just to make sure I get the calls right. And, you know, you know, like I can't have like a good view of the field, so I have to stand up and look out the window just to make sure that I can be able to see what's happening and keep up the live action. Yeah, I'm really not having confidence. You know, it's a good game. You know, it's a you know, Friday night, so it's a good crowd on hand. But yeah, we're just gonna keep it going. So uh, yeah, second half is coming up pretty soon. Side, but the ball is knocked away. It uh, looked like it was Johan Granados who was projecting that back in. Almost taken down by a Greyhound Fair, but stays on his feet. Now to Griffith will pass it back out to Attila Ashrafi. Ashrafi will go to the middle. Over to where he finds Brandon Knapp. And that will go back inside over to where Leggett is. Leggett trying to get past uh, Luchies. He might have a chance here. Now the Griffith almost trying to kick it off. Oh, the ball is off the goal and the goal goes in. That is off the foot of like number uh, number uh, number four, Marcus Musiachi. But no, actually, no. The goal was scored by Anton Siegel, and it's a goal for St. John's as they now take a one 0 lead over the Lola Greyhounds. And it's just a, a gift given uh, by the Red Storm as there were so many movements. It was either going to be Leggett or either going to be Griffiths. But at the, end, at the end of the day, Siegel uh, uh, lost it with his left peg and knocks it in the back of the net past Alex Bobasey, who's been dominating all night, protecting the, what has been the seven shots for St. John's. But now the game has changed as St. John's are now taking the lead 1-0 over the Greyhounds. All right, guys, so game just wrapped up, um, ended in a 1-1 draw. Uh, yeah, it was crazy on both sides, but overall, it was a great competitive game. It was defense uh, well played by St. John's and Lowell, Maryland. Um, Antic Sinkle scored uh, the goal that gave St. John's the lead in uh, like the early um, early part of the second half. And But Lola Maryland came back with their for Keelan Swells. He scored the equalizer. To keep uh, get the game at 1-1, and pretty much for the most part, no one was able to score. Everybody was playing lockdown defense, and there was even a few brawls in between during the second half. As tensions were getting high, uh, just like going, going as, like, as it got later in the game. Uh, overall, it was a good battle on both sides. Uh, had fun calling it, and um, yeah, you know, just can't uh, can't wait to get back to get to the next one. So. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Just wanted to glad everybody was able to join in on the stand life of a college student sports broadcaster. I hope it inspires you to want to get into broadcasting. If you know you came across this video and that's something that you're interested in doing, um, yeah, it's definitely you know good practice for you know communicating skills and just talking. If you want to get into broadcasting, if that's the route you want to go into sports, I like doing this for fun. Um, I always uh, you know had. Like, people have always told me I had a broadcaster's broadcaster's voice, and, and you know I'm glad that I could be able to use that voice and just practice it here at St. John's and be able to you know get out to a wide audience. I mean we get a lot of people tuning in to our games, and uh, yeah, it's just really cool to be a part of this. But uh, overall, I hope everybody enjoyed this uh, day in life, and I will catch you on the next one. It's been Philip. Take care, everybody. <laughs>